Um, at the end of the day, if I had to pick between the Indian or the MT-09, coming from somebody who's owned MT-09s and has had that Indian sit in my garage for, you know, six, seven months, it's a All right, buenos dias, que pasa you guys, John's Moto Garage, a much awaited video. Today we're doing an MT-09 SP 2021 versus the Indian FTR 1200. So my buddy here, Jaron, shout out to him, he came out, he's letting me ride the MT-09. I've had the Indian FTR 1200 for about six months and I've ripped around on it quite a bit. And I've gotten to feel and understand and know the bike. Today we're jumping on this MT-09. I've ridden MT-09s in the past, but this is the first time being on a 2021 newer mt09 all right so first of all let's do a little walk around real quick mt09 2021 to sp version indian ftr 1200 this is a uh i don't know about a 900 cc inline three about 65 foot pounds of torque 120 horsepower weighs about 415 pounds shorter wheelbase indian ftr 1200 over here 85 foot pounds of torque 120 horsepower about 515 pounds wet a little bit wider wheelbase and it's like a flat track uh racer replica bike anyway let's hit this so immediately i feel a little bit more comfortable throwing a leg over and jumping on the uh the mt09 but i think that's the way my buddy has it set up now he was saying that he felt like this was a little more aggressive but i don't get that i feel uh, almost like i'm sitting a little bit more in the bike bmx style the ftr 1200 i don't feel like it's a super aggressive uncomfortable stance by any means i actually really love the way that feels it gives me super moto vibes but this one uh, i feel just slightly more at home already on the mt09 i'll say hands down i think the ftr is a really great handling motorcycle but every time i've ever jumped on an ft09 or sorry mt09 i'm blown away immediately by how nimble the bike feels and it's not to say that the ftr is a bad handling bike because it's actually a beautifully handling motorcycle but i think this one would take the win as far as that goes the inline three is a good mid-range torquey engine and it feels a lot more refined similar to sport bikes like a super sport than your your v-twin that you have with the ftr but that's kind of a characteristic personality difference between the bikes <laughs> that it's just kind of personal preference you know what you're looking for out of the bikes sometimes i get bored with a bike that is super super refined like almost too smooth and i like the raw edgy feel that you get from a v-twin it really kind of depends on the day but one thing i absolutely love is the quick shifter and that's a big complaint is the ftr for how much you're paying for that which you are paying a premium for that motorcycle there's no quick shifter on it bro and the quick shifter i didn't think it'd be something i was super stoked on because i like you know using a clutch and stuff but once you uh, get into it, it just becomes a nice, it's a nice luxury that you get used to. Now I'll say these MT09s have come a long way because the first one I ever had was a 2014 when I was first getting back into motorcycles, messing around with the wheelies and the throttle on those early model MT09s, super twitchy, super, super sensitive to the point where it was like super scary. And I don't think the riding modes were as refined either as they are on these newer ones i think it, uh yamaha has made these mt09s a lot more user friendly for all level riders yeah i just can't get over the freaking handling man dude this thing Oh, dude, I'm telling you, bro, I almost don't have the maturity, the riding maturity to, uh, hold on, let's take a moment to uh, just appreciate how beautiful looking the Indian is, though. That's such a rad looking bike. Overall, the MT09, I think hands down, you're getting way more bang for your buck. The value is just there. You've got the power, you've got the torque, you've got the handling, performance. You know, it's a lighter bike, it comes with the uh, quick shifter, I don't think there's much of an argument as far as where the value is at, especially because this bike comes in at least a couple thousand dollars uh, lower than the Indian. So let's talk about why would anybody buy the Indian then? 
uh, compared to this bike and I've ridden the Indian quite a bit and where I see the Indian fitting in is the Indian is a style it's got a unique look style and personality it's got kind of a mix of a hot rod muscle bike with that v-twin which definitely has a grunty more kind of low-end torque to it just a different personality than the ft09 and it's kind of like a bobber or cafe racer or a chopper or a dyna where if you're looking for a best uh, specific style namely the flat track replica that's pretty much the only place you're going to find it and in addition to the rad style you also have the functionality because it's a great performing bike it's a great handling bike and it's a super rad looking bike has some nice mods you can throw on it you can do an exhaust and make it sound real good and so overall you get kind of the best of all these different worlds where it's just a fun rad looking motorcycle so that's kind of my thoughts on the two i think for anybody just looking for pure performance and value the the yamaha is hard to beat but if you look at the Indian and it just melts your heart, bro, and it just tells you that it's calling your name, then you don't really have any other choice but to go with the Indian. Um, at the end of the day, if I had to pick between the Indian or the MT-09, coming from somebody who's owned MT-09s and has had that Indian sitting in my garage for, you know, six, seven months, it's a tough, tough decision. And for me, it almost comes down to the day and what I feel like doing on said day. You know what I mean? I'm going to jump back on the Indian now and we'll kind of do a final thoughts on the motorcycle from one to the next. So Indian, definitely a different feel to it. I got to get, I got to get used to this thing again. So yeah, you can feel the little bit of extra weight, especially coming straight off of the, uh, coming right off of the MT-09. I feel that weight difference immediately. almost got a wheelie but that's one thing i didn't really speak much to is, is wheelies the f the mt09 my my experience on the previous the older ones is that thing's a freaking wheelie machine like you have to try not to wheelie that bike now that they have the newer riding modes i would have to spend some time on it to get comfortable and figure out the sweet spot but totally doable that thing will wheelie with ease the ftr this thing you have to work at it man this thing is definitely tricky to wheelie and it doesn't have a good you can't chase it out you have to get to balance point in order to do a decent wheelie on this thing there's just no two ways about it and uh, i haven't ridden this in a while so i don't know if i can pull that off but we're gonna try it oh, okay all right let's call it a day bro this has been good <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be somewhat of a long-winded uh, video kind of coming up to my concluding thoughts. Um, I'm, I, I don't think there's a quote-unquote better bike. Uh, better value for sure. I think just more value with the MT-09 given the price that you're paying. But this Indian, as soon as I throw a leg over on it, I'm like all totally in love with it again for totally different reasons. I just, the feel on this is different and it gives me more of that hooligan um kind of supermoto vibe just ripping around and there's just something about that v-twin man i really like the grunt of this v-twin hey jaron i don't know bro i kind of i'm kind of in love with the ftr again dude i i think the the thing i like most about the ftr is the personality I get the muscle bike out of it. it. It it combines what I love about the Harley Dyna wheelies. It combines that with your naked bike. But there's no doubt both bikes, you just want to open up the throttle and just rip it, you know? All right, so I think I'm going to wrap it up, man. Um, side by side, these two bikes, both awesome options. And... I think it comes down to the individual or you know maybe your budget or what you're working with but I, I wouldn't be unhappy riding either of them they're both really really fun bikes man so drop a comment below which one would you prefer the FTR or the uh, MT-09 drop a comment below let us know and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Huge shout out to Jaron for coming out and letting us ride his bike and rip it around. And 
yeah be sure to check out his video he's gonna have the same video uh from his perspective so we'll have them both posted on the channel like and subscribe if you did we'll catch you next time adios nos vemos